Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I had really, really low expectations for this game and it actually blew me away. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi, welcome to a final gear video. My name is Lace and today we're gonna be doing a first impressions, kind of having a look through like the systems and all of like the music, the battles, all the freebies, the gatches, the waifus, you already know what it is. As you can see, I have played a little bit. I think for me, for my first impressions videos, I was getting kind of sick of being held up by cutscenes and stuff. And so I figured I'd play through a little bit more get more familiar with it before I actually go in and give some like analysis and then eventually a review and so this is the result of that and with that being said let's jump into the content and so to kick things off look at that oh my god beautiful and I'm not even praising the waifu itself I'm praising the art I'm praising the animation it's the live 2d that really does it for me like oh my gosh I think every single character that you see is going to be live 2d like look at that I don't know if you can pat them or anything but like it's it's all so silky smooth and it's actually quite good yeah look even like the rares the r's have complete live 2d and honestly it's really really freaking impressive but before we go any further i completely forgot to introduce you guys to this game so let's take it back a step final gear is kind of like a run and gun so if i show you guys over here the mechas essentially you've got a team of four characters and you're piling a bunch of gundams and then you're going around like killing monsters that i uh, <laughs> i think that's actually a pretty accurate summary all right and so as you can see we have a bunch of pilots over here and then we assign them oh my gosh that is that is so freaking cool we assign them into like these mechas and essentially what you can do is you can customize each of their equipment parts so for example this top one over here is its weapon and then we get into it like its cockpit so as you can see over here we've got a bunch of different equips and then obviously each equipment is responsible for different stats so for example the cockpit for its health and evasion which makes a lot of sense and then if we go back to the weapon it's going to be for attack and then if we like look at the shoes <laughs> i don't know if those are really shoes but yeah you guys get the point and then there are a whole different bunch of archetypes we've got like also like different uh, skills and stuff and so yeah that's kind of like the general premise of it we've got a team of four uh, so as you can see i can cycle through them here we've got pilots for all of them and then all of them are going to pilot their individual mecha okay and so with that being said let me show you guys an actual battle so this is this is actually quite fun because honestly i had quite low expectations for this game when i came into it but like after playing a little bit i'm like mm. you know if i was more into these kind of games like this is probably the game that i would pick to play all right guys so i'm gonna do this one over here and so let's hit start mission and uh, before we go in i just want to show you guys like the the production value the ui the design of all of this it's actually incredibly good it's a hundred percent on par with like arc knights with pgr with genshin like it's it's all really really cohesive all of the different icons all of like the different ui elements it just feels like it's cohesive it's all belonging to the same game i know it sounds like a no-brainer but like to be honest a lot of different games get this aspect wrong and really that's so disappointing because like to me it really adds to the experience of the game all right and so um <laughs> wait a second this is the first time i've seen this but like let's auto deploy and so we've got a squad over here and so what this looks like is actually it's going to be oh god okay i gotta make a second squad and so the reason i have to make a second squad is because well they require it but not only that there is this warehouse over here and so this warehouse as you can see is blue it is a base it is our territory and then down here you'll see time to occupy is six seconds and so what that means is that if the enemy has gotten into our base for six seconds we lose and so it's in my best interest to actually have a couple of different teams stopping the enemies which are over here and so with that being said let me make a second team so i think i can click formation over here and then so as you can see there is a team one up here and then a team two over oh my god why can't i use a second team oh my god hold up wait a second wait does that mean i have to do this alone all right well screw it if they're not gonna let me like make another team to help me defend my base and whatever i'll do it with my one team i'll do it with my og team all right and so we're gonna hit enter battle and then what we're gonna see is a whole bunch of these guys coming at our base and so what i have to do is i essentially have to clear all of them so i'm gonna meet this guy over here and then i'm gonna smack him down all right and so we are actually in a stage and as you can see uh it's really freaking hectic so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on as you can see there are four characters from my team and right now i'm on auto mode so let me switch off auto mode so i am controlling this unit over here and so what i can do is i can fire on okay i'm not firing but <laughs> i can stab onto the left or i can stab onto the right so like ching 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 look at that look at that ching 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 i'm just freaking chopping them up you know my dudes and so i think it's best played with l and k which is just left and right stab and so what you can also do is actually switch between the characters like this so i'm going to switch to uh this girl over here i think which is 
uh, chainsaw using chick. Hold up. Where is my gunner, people? What the frick? Let me try using another one. Okay, this one is a little bit creepy. Uh, and I guess I'll show you what it looks like in the next battle. And so that is the ending screen. We've got a whole bunch of damage statistics here, which is nice, but it's very rudimentary, nothing to write home about. And so let's move on. But yeah, this is the combat in a nutshell. So as you can see over here, we've got the HP with the green bars, and then we've got the blue bar signifying the alt charging. And so obviously if I get my blue bar to full, I can use my alt. So actually if I switch to another character like this one, I can use the alt. I'm just going to click that. And so yeah, this one's a little bit creepy. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of hands coming out of that, uh, that portal over there. Uh, let me try another one. Uh, this one over here. I actually don't know what she's doing, but uh, how, about, how about this one over here? What is she doing? Okay. I think she's going to bombard them. The frick? <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's essentially the combat system in a nutshell. It's actually pretty fun. And I know a lot of you are going to ask, yes, there is an auto mode. So there was an auto button up there. So, all right. So here is where you can actually appraise some of the different enemies. And so what's important is that you can see that there are different archetypes, right? The bomber, defender, demolisher. And so clearly I've unequipped my shooters. So I can't show you my gun girls. But the reason that I'm showing you this, guys, is because there is like some level of tactics. It's not kind of like unga bunga. It's exactly like your element system, like your type advantages, your fire beats grass which beats uh electric or something but yeah that's combat in a nutshell hopefully you guys like understand what really it entails and so yeah that's that's pretty much it for the combat and so with that let's move on to the next systems okay guys so let's take a quick break for a word from our sponsor ld player is a powerful modern emulator that supports all of your mobile gaming and app needs it's got features like sync operations high frame rate mode yes that is 120 fps we've got 64 bit support multi instancing macro you name it. For me personally, I use LD Player to play other games like Punishing Grey Raven and Revived Witch, as you can see over here. And so if you would like to try this bad boy out, and as well as the game actually, head on down to the pinned comment or the description and go ahead and click that link. Otherwise, thank you to LD Player for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back to it. All right, guys, so we are back in the hangar. I want to walk you through a whole bunch of different things because there is quite a lot going on here. Up here, we've got our different currencies. So we've got the premium currency crystals, and then we've got the gold, which you use for everything. As for the crystals, there is the paid versus free. And so I think this is already like, it shows you their intent, right? There are a lot of packs that consume paid crystals only. And so I think that's very, very similar to a lot of the different gachas out there right now. I'm personally not a massive fan of it, but like it is what it is. Some people are going to argue that that's what they have to do to make money. And so guys, what you're looking at here is special novice recruitment, AKA it is an infinite reroll. Novice recruit times 10 contains one of these SSR pilots and has unlimited entries until the SSR pilot is selected and so let's give it a shot my boys all right okay that's a that's a lot of oh my god okay <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Something uh, caught my tongue, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, look at that. The art is like, it's so freaking, oh, holy crap. Yeah, okay. I admit this is a little bit of a lewd game. It's not like blatantly lewd. Like there are a couple of way worse ones. I'm talking like Destiny Child, but this is certainly one of the more lewd ones. Like of all of the gachas that I play, none of them are... Uh, None of them really go like this, you know what I'm saying? All right, so guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all of these up until the end. Let's have a look at our SSR. Oh, okay, looks like I can't actually preview them. Um, That's that's really, really freaking sad. Okay, she looks interesting, but I kinda wanna see some of the other ones. So let's uh, let's go roll again. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, and as you can see, we've got this eye patch girl. And so as you can see, it's pretty rigged. SSR, two SRs, and a whole bunch of Rs and Ns. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's always that chick first. But yeah, as you can see, guys, it's rigged to one SSR, two SRs, and the rest are going to be filled with Rs and Ns. I'm just going to go ahead and flip through a couple more and see like kind of what I want. Uh, there hasn't really been one that has caught my eye yet. All right, guys, so this is the role that I'm settling on. And to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm settling for this one in particular, but like, I felt good about it. So I was like, yeah, okay, let's uh, let's just take this one. And so it looks like our novice recruitment was finished. So let me go through all of these other ones here. And so before we go anywhere else, let me show you guys the chance details over here. And so our SSR rate is at 5% of which our rate up is at 2.5%. Honestly speaking, that's decently high. However, the issue with this game, well, not really the issue, I guess the catch is, it's that not only do you need the pilots, but you also need those mecha armor pieces. And so if you guys remember back to the 
equipment in the hangar that I showed you guys. So guys, I'm talking about this system right here. And so if I click into this over here, you're going to see these are actually ranked by SRs, Rs, the same kind of system that we use for the characters. And so you can see why it's a bit tough, right? Because there are four parts on top of the character that you potentially want. And so I think you're going to be sinking a lot of currency to be able to get what you want. On top of that, generally speaking, you do want a full set of like the same set of armor. Like this is clearly cohesive. There is a set effect bonus. And if I click into this one over here, you can see white crow four out of five. And so it's giving me all of this. But on top of that, what you're going to see here is Evelyn exclusive pilot. And so what this means is that it really is a set of five. You've got your pilot and then you've got the four piece from the suits. And so guys, I'm just going to activate this one over here by popping in Evelyn. So if I hop back, I'm going to click on portrait. I think that one's Evelyn and then train. I mean, sorry, change. And then as you can see, there is a button down here, activate. So I'm going to click that. And this is actually really freaking cool. Look at that, guys. Like, holy moly. This is, oh my God. Okay. It's just looking at this. Oh, it's insane. I can't talk about this stuff enough. Like, if you guys are mecha fans, which I am not, then this should be so, so hype for you guys. Like, that is a, that is a freaking full-blown Gundam, essentially. But yeah, seeing the system at play, I think you guys can see why this is a little bit of a concern. It's going to take a lot of currency. See, it's probably going to take a lot of money to actually be able to make any of these like full sets. And so yeah, if you guys do end up picking up this game, I would be wary of like that system right there. However, there are a couple of really awesome things. So you can see over here at recruitment queue and you can see that there is a timer for these guys. And so what's happening here is it's essentially your Arknight system. I'm able to use some in-game currencies to recruit characters. And so that's honestly really freaking nice because I love these recruitment systems. Anyway, moving on, let's have a look at this special recruit. Uh, oh, this one looks nice. All right, so as you can see, guys, this is using a step up system. And so essentially what it's saying is that the more you pull, the better chances you have for getting good things. So you know what? I'm just going to hit it. Actually, I don't even know if I have any of these elite referrals. Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently I do. And so as you can see, I got a whole bunch of nothing. I'm just going to skip over all of that. And so here you can see a fallen god bits times 20. This is kind of like a shard system in which you can use to redeem parts of the suits. And so, yeah, I guess that's a, a kind of like a good thing, hopefully, because like I said, there is actually a lot to roll for. All right, guys. So look down here. There are about nine steps. And so each 10 roll you do is going to get you one of these sets of items. I'm going to see if I can try hit another tenner. I don't know if I have that many crystals, but yeah, let's go. Let's see if we get anything good. And this 5% rate up is a lie. <laughs> What the frick, boys? All right, guys. So as you can see, I've gotten this cutting edge textbook, which is the second step. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Let's see if we get anything. And uh, okay, I'm broke. All right, I, I get it. I'm broke. There are a couple of other systems like Novice Mission, which is really good because obviously you're gonna be getting a whole bunch of stuff from this. On top of that, if we look over here, there is a battle pass indeed. However, this battle pass is for $20, which is honestly quite dear, like for me personally. Battle passes for Aussie dollars tend to be around like $15 or like 10 to 12 USD. And so yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. So you can see there is like this unit. However, what is nice is that you do get the unit for free, I believe, because it does look like that it is on the free battle pass track. Anyway, moving on, we do have the growth fund packs and all of these like general packs over here. Oh, this is one that I do want to show you, which is the skins. Now guys, there are an insane amount of skins in this game already. And honestly, they are all really, really freaking good. Like guys, look at those horrible boob physics. Like, Oh my god, it is a 10 out of 10 bless. But yeah, guys, let me show you the skins. Like, look, uh, wait a second, wait a second. That looks like a young version of... The okay, whatever. Anyway, moving on, like, look at all that. Look at all of that. There is just not enough time and not enough money to collect all of these freaking nice skins. Bam, 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 all live 2D, all animated, all looking really freaking good. But yeah, to be honest, guys, for me personally, I think if you have been watching me for a while, you'll realize or you'll remember that I'm not a massive fan of like the overly skimpy skins. I'm into things that are more like stylish, which is kind of like that or yeah, even like that, right? Like that's ultra, ultra stylish, but like, um, uh, okay, I get that it's a summer skin, but like, what, is this supposed to be a wedding dress? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but to be honest, this is like really just personal preference. And so if you guys do like that kind of stuff, 
don't let me stop you. All I can say about them is that they are incredibly high quality and a lot of them really make me want to buy some. But yeah, I think that's kind of it in terms of like a first impressions, what I'm seeing at the game right now. And I know you guys can't hear it, but there is voice acting and it sounds pretty good. And on top of that, there's like really good music. But like, again, you guys already know, I can't show you or I'm going to get DMCA'd. And the performance is good. It's not something I've talked about, but like you can see up here, a hundred frames. I don't know if it's truly a hundred frames, but like it's, it's completely smooth. It has not stuttered anywhere for me. And if I was stuttering, I can actually go into the settings menu over here. And they have a whole bunch of different settings to prioritize what you need. So whether that be like better frame rates or power consumption, save battery, stuff like that. But yeah, all in all, this game, this game is actually really, really freaking good. In terms of aesthetics, in terms of like characters, I don't know if there really is much characterization. The story was so, so, but the gameplay, the systems, the UI, like the general game experience itself is, it's, it's actually really, really up there. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the devs, but like what I did see is a whole bunch of these different giveaways. And so I see this SSR chest. You know what? I'm going to use it and see what we get. I wonder if we're going to get SSR pieces. Uh... Oh, wow. They really are SSR pieces. And so this looks identical to the Evelyn one before. Oh my God. Okay. This is, this is pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, and there's another one over here. Superior SR pilot to join rank. Okay. You know what? Let's, let's get somebody. Oh my God. Wait a second. Is this a selector? Holy crap. Okay. Well, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So we're getting an SSR from that unlimited 10 pool that we saw before. But on top of that, it looks like we're going to be able to select somebody as well. So let me just hit one at random. Confirm. And wow. Yeah, damn. Holy crap, we actually... Oh, okay, that's, that is so cool. That is, that is a lot of SSRs. From a generosity point of view, I'm really getting like the counter side vibes from it. And that's a really good thing. But yeah, again, guys, I'm not really familiar with these devs or the publishers. I don't know how they perform. So I can't really comment on generosity and stuff. And wait a second. <laughs> Wait, is that an engagement ring? All right, we're, we're pretty deep. Uh, we're pretty deep in this rabbit hole, huh? But yeah, guys, like overall, I feel like it's 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 a really, really good game. Aside from my personal concerns in terms of like having to pull the mechs as well as the characters themselves, I think the core gameplay, like the designs and all the UIs, everything like the gameplay experience and all of that, it's it's really good. And again, the live 2D art is great. It's full of skins. We've got great music, voice acting as well. And on top of that, we've got a base system which unlocks at level 40, which I probably am not going to be able to play to. But yeah, if you guys are a fan of mechs, this is definitely a game that I would be looking at. But all in all, I think that pretty well summarizes my thoughts on this game so far. Again, guys, this is my first impressions. I have not seen an end game. This is <laughs> this is really blown away my expectations. But yeah, what I want to do now is ask you guys this secret question, and that is, well, are you guys going to give this one a shot? Did it look interesting? Were there a couple of things that were red flags that were making you feel like, nah, I'm just going to pass on this one? Whatever your answer may be, drop it down into the comment section below, and I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video, and so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a follow, and if you would like to support the channel, we have a membership thing as well as uh, some affiliate links. Guys, like this mecha is oh my god it's seriously so freaking cool but guys as evelyn once said who is kind of like a paimon lookalike if you know what i'm saying all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye